Good morning, folks. Just as seismology taught us what's underground and was translated into helioseismology to do so on the sun, astroseismology has extended beyond our system to reveal rotation and axial tilt properties of faraway stars and is shedding light on their planetary systems as well. Solid article about cosmic ray origin here. They're now able to discern between galactic radiation and sources external to the Milky Way galaxy. And a personal interest of mine, the inadequacy of safety testing in terms of long-term effects, especially carcinogenicity, top recommendation to read this one. Kiko is a character on American Dad, but also now a tropical storm developing south of Baja. We have no major warnings as of yet, but we will continue to monitor this one. In the Atlantic, development has weakened significantly. Australian desert may actually see some storms over the next few days, rain at the furthest north and south locations. Lone official Euro watches the Mediterranean pop up storms. What's coming across the UK is much less severe. Counterclockwise low just off the west coast likely to bring rain today along with the primary low north central. She is converging warm moist southern air with cool drier mass from the north, setting the severe watch zone this evening. Midday yesterday, we took two gamma ray bursts, first from Pegasus constellation, followed 40 minutes later by one from Hydra. The C8 solar flare on the left side from two days ago is the only such event since it occurred. Flaring has weakened tremendously along with the sunspots. Down south, our positive lead has little negative support trailing it. The big northern group has nice umbras but is totally spread out magnetically. In fact, the smaller group up north is newly invigorated and despite small umbras, has the most delta development potential there on the backside. Regardless of further flaring, the C8 sent a big blast on its way and everyone agrees this should hit Earth later today. Until then, we continue our rising coronal whole stream speed as density wanes on both the SOHO and ACE telemetry. KP index and geomagnetics are steady for now, but we are under a significant warning for space weather effects if the CME arrives anywhere near as powerful as it left the sun. Got that smaller coronal hole directly facing Earth today. Earth is also directly between Ceres and Neptune for a few days. Got awesome shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.